So this is called the Irrepressible Number One. So the way this one works is you're going to follow two rules. The first rule, if the number is odd, then multiply by three and add one. Divide by two. Those are your two rules. So what this means is you're going to um, you'll always end up with the number one if you follow this process. It's not actually a trick, but mathematics does provide some curiosity. So this is actually just a curiosity. Um, it has baffled mathematicians for many years, and no one knows why it happened. So first, you're going to have them pick any number. So let's say I pick 12, okay, 12 is even, so we're going to divide by 2, and we'll get 6, 6 is even, so we're going to divide by 2, and get 3, 3 is odd, therefore, we multiply 3 by 3, and add 1. 10 is even, and we divide by 2. 5 is odd, so we do 5 times 3, plus 1. Get 16. 16 is even, so we divide by 2. 8 is even, we divide by 2. 4 is even. We divide by 2. 2 is even. We divide by 2 and finally get 1. It is believed that no matter which number we begin with, here we started with 12, you will eventually get to 1. So, what I want you to figure out is does this really work for all numbers? Mathematicians have been working on this since the 1930s, and there is no answer as to why it works. But here are your two rules, and just start by asking somebody for any number. If it's odd, multiply by 3 and add 1. If it's even, divide by 2. Eventually, you'll get down to 1.